Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of sine squared x dx. So to evaluate this integral, we can use the reduction formula for sine squared x. That is, sine squared x is also equal to 1 half times the quantity 1 minus cosine 2x dx. And then this 1 half is just a constant. So I can just put it in front of the integral. So I have 1 half integral of 1 minus cosine 2x dx. Distributing the integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term. We will have 1 half integral of 1 dx or simply integral of dx minus 1 half integral of cosine 2x dx. For the first integral, we have 1 half times the integral of dx It's just equal to x, then minus. For the second integral, we can apply u substitution first. Let u be equal to 2x, getting the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of 2x is 2 dx. So we have created this dx term already from the original integral. Let's just get rid of extra coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So we have d over 2 is dx. If we substitute, we will have negative 1 half integral of cosine 2x which is now equal to u. And this dx is equal to du over 2. So I can put this 1 half in front of the integral. So we will multiply negative 1 half times 1 half. That will be negative 1 fourth integral of cosine u du. So we have negative 1 fourth integral of cosine u du is positive sine u. And then let's just transform back the u in terms of the original variable x. So u is equal to 2x. And then let's put all the two integrals together. So we have 1 half x minus 1 fourth sine 2x plus c as the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of cosine cubed x dx. So this time, I can split the power of cosine, which is... To the third power into cosine squared x times cosine x and then i will transform this cosine squared x in terms of sine using pythagorean identity so cosine squared x is the same as 1 minus sine squared x then times cosine x dx okay so this time i can let you be equal to sine x and get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of sine x is cosine x dx. So therefore, we have created this term in the original integral. Cosine x dx is now equal to du. If we substitute, we will have the integral of 1 minus, again, this sine is equal to u with the square. So u square. Then times this cosine x dx, which is equal to du. So, we can distribute the integral symbol together with the du. We will have integral of 1 du or simply du minus integral of u squared du. Evaluating the integral of du, that's u, minus integral of u squared du applying power formula, that's u raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. So, we will have u minus u raised to the third power over 3 plus c. And let's just transform back the u in terms of sine x. So the final answer should be sine x minus sine cube x over 3 plus c. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.